Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Rise of the Rune Lords. No, wait, Wrath of the Righteous, baby. That's what we're doing, it's the Wrathing Righteousness. Now, uh, we had a pretty bad turn last turn. We failed two location closes, but on the plus side, we did find the villain. The villain is in this deck here, which has 11 cards in it. We have exactly 12 blessings left in our stack. That means we've got two rounds to dig out the the uh, the demon chick, or we're screwed. Now, it shouldn't be too hard. We're basically, each of these, this deck here hasn't got anyone in it. The only reason I've still got someone there is because if we find the, the villain, we have to close this. But this is at six, this is at six, this is at six, so... They're going to close soonish. Hopefully, we'll close at least one more in this turn. And then for the last round, we can have three people on here, each of them digging one or two cards each, and that's going to be enough to find the villain. With any luck. It's going to be very close. Uh, I'm feeling lucky today, though. Let's, let's, let's get started. So let's advance our blessing deck. Let's just clear up the board. Now, he is. this is already closed, so we're just going to pick him up and move him over here. And draw the first Yablamo. Blasphemous Priest. He's immune to mental and poison, and we have to... Uh, if the check has divine, we increase the difficulty, because apparently undead clerics are still divine. Oh, whatever, man. Point is, it's a 10 to, to uh, beat. Now, that's not too good for us because we have a D10 plus 2 and we've only got a sickle in hand. Now, the sickle is a plus D6. So, basically, we have a max roll of 16 and we need a minimum roll of 8. Actually, so it's about a 50-50 chance. <laughs> pressure's on. I'm just going to do it. Let's do it. 50-50 chance. You go, girl. Oh, boy. What are you, Aelin? Nice. 14. 16. Gone. Okay, you blammo. So, we also have uh, this guy. I'm going to start using my hotkeys. I'll put all the... Oh! The Cultus of Baphomet. Okay. This is excellent news. We could finish this game this turn now. So what happens here is the villain has hidden into this deck, but we can still close this deck using this card. So if you defeat, you may immediately attempt to close this location. And what that means is we close the deck, but it'll leave the villain card or any other henchman in the deck just sitting there by themselves which means that we'll know exactly who's going to pick it up, when to pick it up. It'll be very, very cool for us. But we have to close this. We can't screw around. So the first thing we do is put, spawn out our servitor. This is not... This is not... Oh, wait, hang on. How did I draw a second turn? Wait, what am I doing? I can't draw a, a second turn. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's draw that card. Boom. Okay, it's the next person's turn. <laughs> oh, should I shuffle that? Because oh, we're going to draw it with Anora now. But now I kind of know not to use any blessings. Oh, well, I'm going to have to shuffle this. That sucks. Okay, advance that blessing deck. Let's draw the next card. It's the pinky. Yoink. Oh, it's a carbuncle. So these are really annoying. I'm not quite sure exactly. Basically, they allow you to explore. You automatically acquire them, and then you roll the die, and they get shuffled into the deck of whoever uh, you roll. Okay, so that's the end of that. Okay, well, we're at five, so let's draw another card. This girl... Draw advance the blessing. I'm getting good with the blessing advancing. 
It's a quarter staff, which is a melee three. We should get this because we have plus three melee, which means that we automatically survive. I'm not going to bother rolling. And because we got a card, we can actually draw because it says at the top. Summon and uh, when you acquire a weapon, you may draw a card. So we're not actually forced to draw the card. So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to do a cure, which is a D4 plus one. Give us a five, please. Yeah, boy. Oh, yes, five. Told you we were going to have a good day. I knew, I could feel it. I could feel it in my bones. One. Two, three, four, five. Okie dokie. And now we do a uh, divine eight. So our divine is a d10 plus one. So we need a seven to win this. Okay, so that's a failure, so that just gets discarded. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We've got lots of weapons here. I think I'm going to... That's a D6. This is a D... I'm actually going to discard the quarter staff and draw another card. Hopefully we'll get another blessing. Which we don't. Okay, this guy. Advance that blessing deck. Yoink. Okay, so we have a Constrictor Snake. It's 11 to beat. If checked to defeat, has the cold trait. Oh, right. That's because... Uh, yeah, we had to put this on top of the deck last time, didn't we? So that was the card we buried last time. Okay, so basically... That had, does not have the Veteran trait, so we can't use our Lizard, unfortunately. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is discard. Let me see if I, how do I, do I remember how to do this? Discard a spell to draw a random monster, which we then play. Outside of Demon Elite, so that does not match. So we get 1d4. I also put a card on the top of my deck. Now, we've got to be very careful here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't discard one more card or we will die. So yeah, so now we get, uh, we have the D6 of strength, the 12 plus two. I just put this on the on the deck, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so using this ability, we discard a card to get our arcane added to our strength. Then we use this to get a monster, which we played, using this to get 1d4. So we need 11 to beat this. Blamo! 19, that is a pass. Okay, so if I discard, you blink. I can draw four, five, six. Wow. Oh, carbuncle. Now it's your turn. And I should be finishing the game right now, but I screwed up so badly. Yoink. Okay, so we have a ghoul. He's immune to mental and poison. Uh, that's a poison attack. This is a fire attack. This is a mental attack. So he's immune to both those cards. Diplomacy check. Wisdom check. We can actually do lots of exploring here. Okay, so. When you play a spell, you may recharge a random spell. Okay. Let's have a look in here. We have two spells in here. I really shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Then I could have pulled... Oh, that's just a book. I thought it was a magic book. Okay, so... Uh, well, we'll do Fiery Glare. That is Arcane or Divine 2d4s. So that is... 
Uh, arcane is 12 plus 1, plus 2d4s. We only need 9. So hopefully that'll go well. Yeah, Blamo, you can do it! You can do it, Anora. Yes! <laughs> I'm rolling like a dude. Demon dude. I'm very, very happy with my rolling so far. Thank you, Rochelle. You are giving me your blessing, and I appreciate it. So, divine check 10. Our divine is... We don't have a divine. Arcane, big pardon. Arcane 12-1. And we're looking for a 10 or better. Okay, that's a fail. So this will actually get discarded. But we do get to recharge. Uh, we do get to recharge a random spell. So we have two spells. So I'll roll a d6. One to three is the, is the brilliance. Four to six is the other one. Oops. Try that again. Well, I got a five. So that is the other one. Okay. Uh, right, so we still got quite a lot of power here. Let's let's do the researcher. That allows us to draw another card. Ooh, Scoundrel. If the check to defeat has cold, electricity, or fire, the difficulty is increased by three. Before you act, if you are the only character at your location, he does combat damage. We are not the only character. While you act, damage dealt by the Pitborn Scoundrel may not be reduced. Okay, so we have to beat this guy. He takes a 12 to kill. We're going to use Poison. So this is actually a very, very hard one. So that is D12 plus one and two D4s. Hmm. Uh, I just don't know. Okay, so let me think. Plus one, D12 plus two D4s. We need 12 or better. So I think we're basically looking at a little over 50%. Okay, let's do it. Come on! Come on! Oh, no! 12! Oh, just make it. 5, 4, 2, and 1. Beautiful. So he's beat. Remember, we don't have to beat. Oh, God, that was a good one. Okay, let's do the Taskmaster. Oh, no. A borable blight. Each character summons and encounters the henchman Fiendish Tree. The barrier is defeated or undefeated based solely on your encounter. If any fiendish trees were not defeated, roll 1d20. If the result is less than or equal to the number of fiendish trees that were not defeated, summon and encounter the henchman. Okay, so uh, that is weird. Uh, let's have a look in here. There is whatever his name is, and here's the tree. about this thing that's just uh, part of my modding tools oh wow 16 combat gives me delicious employment okay we'll have to let's just have a look at this tree the difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario's deck number we don't have a deck number the fiendish tree is immune to mental and poison traits if the check to defeat has the fire trait, add one D eight. Before you act, the fiendish tree deals one range, and after you act, it deals one ranged. Oh wow, this is bad. 
So basically, it's immune to mental. This is a mental attack. Oh wow, this is brutal. Well, let's just see if this gets recharged first. That is a Divine Arcane 6. That's a fail. Oops. I didn't mean to send that back to the guy. Oh, that was the monster's wrong deck. And it was... Oh, that is a brutal card. That's one of the character cards. Man, 13 to defeat. Okay, so let me have a look in here. So when I played when I played Vampire Strike, I got to recharge a card again. So I do another D6 roll. It's two. So the first one is brilliance. Oh man. Oh, that's so annoying. So this is, it's a, he's immune to mental. Which means we're going to basically get smashed here. Which means we will have to fight this thing here. What does this guy do? Oh, sorry. I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with that later. Okay, so basically... All we can do here is roll our combat, which is a d6. So we get hit for 11. Now, everyone else has to also fight this thing. So he is a... First he takes a ranged combat damage, so we can recharge this card to stop that damage. And then we go blam. And that is a d10 plus two plus one. What do we got? 12. So we take one damage from the combat. Recharge that. And then we take another damage from the ranged attack at the end. Wow, that is just brutal. Okay, so this guy, first we take a range damage, we'll do a force missile. Then we will do a combat. What have we got here? Let's do the quarter staff. So that gives him his strength, which is a d12 plus one. This gives him a d6 plus one and we'll discard it get another d6 oh god oh why are you doing this to me so they're all discarded too oh, I keep forgetting to not discard that monster. Wow, this is brutal. Okay, so this guy, we will... We have the Paladin trait, I believe. Yep, so we reveal this card instead of recharging it. So that means we've blocked 
the one damage. I will then do the this, which is a D8 melee skill, which is 8-3. 8, 1-2-3, plus... Okay, sorry about that. So I had a phone call. So basically, it's our melee plus 1-D8, and we additionally discard for an extra D4. Come on. Fourteen. We actually beat. Beat this one. Meow. Okay, and this one here. I'm just going to discard this to avoid. I can, I can avoid. Discard this card to a Vader monster counter whose highest difficulty defeat is 12 or lower. Oh, it's 13. Damn it. That's just brutal. Oh, wait. And we have to do one more damage with this as well. So we'll recharge this. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's uh, recharge this. That's the first damage. And then we will... That has the veteran trait, so we reveal. That gives us 2d4s. We'll put pit on our deck. That gives us charisma plus 2 plus a d6. Come on. Oh, man. 13 just made it. God, that looked like a terrible roll. Go six. Okay, boom. And then we have to do a discard. We'll discard, uh, discard this card. Okay, so we discard this. We exceed at, oh, let's drop it by three. So that reduces this thing's second attack. And now we do a constitution fortitude. Our constitution is six. Come on, six. That's a one. So that gets discarded. Oh. I keep I keep doing that by accident. Okay, and finally. So we've had one success. One success, two failures, three failures. This person, fire attack. Fire attack gives us an extra D8. Excellent. Okay, so first we take one damage. We'll take out burst bonds. Uh, actually, we'll take out detect demons. Oh, wait, and he has to do another damage, doesn't he? Oh, no, we, we did that thing, yeah. Huh, detect demon got discarded for the first thing, then we'll do fire blade. So that is R divine, which is D12 plus two plus two D4. And because it has the fire trait, we also get one D8. Come on. Booyah. That's a pass. And now we have to recharge this, which is a Divine 8 check. That's a fail. Okay, so that is everybody. So we had three failures which means we now have to roll a d20. So what's this say again? If any fiendish trees were not defeated, roll one d20. If the result is less than or equal to the number of fiendish trees that were not defeated. Okay, so we need a d, we've got a d20 and we basically don't want to get three or lower. Anything but three or lower. Oh. 18, so that's a pass. So we don't have to do anything, but this is now shuffled back into the deck. Oh, wow, that is just brutal. I'm going to have to move Kyara over here with her move. 
And then for her turn, she's going to reveal, do the heal, which is just d4 plus 1. And we're doing this to Balazar. Four cards. One, two, three, four. And oh dear. So the question is now, do I explore? That will cost me, I think I'm going to save those blessings. Oh gee, that was just a horrendous turn. <sighs> oh, that was brutal. Wow, and everyone's almost dead. Wow, I think that might have lost us the game, that, that barrier. So basically now, everybody's got nothing in their hand. They don't draw until the end of the next turn. Oh wait, no, this person draws though. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this person draws because we just took her turn. So she has a great, she has this thing that allows her to skip traps. So I think we're going to draw that. Just draw twice, three, four, five, and call it there. Okay. Well, that was a brutal, brutal turn. Did I not, when was the last time I advanced the blessing deck? Blue. So I, yellow did advance. So I just need to go one more. Okay, so it's all down to next turn. Oh, that was so brutal. Oh, I was feeling really good. It was my fault. I invoked Rochelle's name and she punished me for it. Damn it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so a couple of things. When I was doing the edit, I noticed that uh, I forgot to do the, the Fiendish Tree attack. So... We have to just second attack after after the combat, so we need to discard one more card. So we'll draw that up. And what really annoyed me is I forgot to take Balazar's snake into hand. That would have given me another D4, which probably would have meant we would have won that roll, which would have been huge. Now, we're in a lot of trouble now because mainly... This thing here, oh uh, no, not that one. This one here, you have to banish a weapon to actually close this location. And the only weapon we have is this guy. So he has to move to here. He has to, there's no other choice. Nora is still got our best chance of actually completing it. She has three explorations. We have eight cards. So basically, we're kind of screwed unless if unless um, um, if we hit that barrier again we're stuffed now unless Anora can uh, dig out that dig out the uh, the villain and kill it we're gonna be in a lot of trouble and then everyone needs to hit their close rolls so this guy is get a weapon that's fine this one's succeeded a boon that's fine this one is do a combat check and this one is banish a weapon so I'll probably send Balazar to there because there's a definite 100% close and I guess she's just going to have to somehow do a combat check 9 She'll have to roll two d6s for a nine, which is uh, pretty bad odds. Let's see, got a six. Oh, there's a pass. There's a fail. So three rolls, one fail. 
So that's not very good. So we have to have someone there who can do a combat check. He has to go to the banished weapon spot. So he has to stay there, basically. Ah, oh, wait. The only thing is, everyone will draw if and Nora is the one that digs her out, and that's our only chance, then the first four characters are going to have to have redrawn their spells. So, oh, it's going to be very, very tense next turn. Ooh. Okay, see you next time.